Hi guys, and welcome to Rufus and Doofus. Chico here, and I'm over at the RV to finish that final installation of the um, trailer uh, wiring harness on the RV. Now, as you know from the previous video, I uh, took care of that rat's nest that was under the RV, and I installed the flat plug, uh, got rid of that old piece of junk that was on there that was wire tied onto the hitch of all places, and I made it real simple because I ordered a product by Hopkins which was going to allow me to plug that four blade connector, the flat connector, right into the new uh, plug that I was getting which is going to be um, a seven blade plug but we're only going to use four of those connections so that we can uh, power uh, the lights to the Jeep. So um, let me show you what I got okay uh, this is the wiring kit right here it comes in a package like this I got it from amazon.com uh, it's real nice by the way you, you don't have to use this just in an RV you can use it on anything else but what it is is a seven blade and four flat wiring kit okay and this adapts an existing vehicle four flat to a mountable multi-toe connector it includes the mounting brackets and hardware and flexible wire increases installation options all right so here's the uh, hardware that it came with nice little packets of screws and stuff uh, they included something to mount this to the frame but I don't think I'm gonna use that what I'm gonna use is some self tapping screws that I have I got my handy dandy impact gun you know you gotcha so we got that that's gonna drive those uh, self tapping screws in and here is the plug itself okay as you can see we have the seven blade connection right here that's the one that you twist in and then we also have the option if we ever have to tow something that's got a four blade connector we can do that so the way this is going to connect the only connector i'm going to use is this right here this is going to plug right in to what i installed on the rv so that's how simple this installation is going to be. These other wires, there's another set of three wires plus a white wire. The white wire is a ground. So uh, yes, I am going to re re uh, reuse this wire instead of the ground that I have. So it's going to be a new ground, okay? And these other wires are for the other options that you would have with a seven wire break, uh, with a seven wire flat blade round connector, which could be electric brakes, uh, on a trailer things of that nature so yes we have that option but I'm not going to do anything with them they already have <clears throat> on the end of these uh, things crimped so that we don't have to use them if we don't want to okay same with the <clears throat> purple wire here we're not going to use that either what I'm going to do is bundle these up before I even go out there put a little tape on them so that we don't get any moisture in those ends and then just wire tie them together out of the way so that they're not in my way the only connector we're worried about is this one right here and here is the mounting plate this is going to get mounted onto the RV this is going to slip into there and then the screws they provided will allow us to mount this permanently it's semi-permanently you can unscrew it if you wanted to to the RV so it should be a real simple install I will include the link at the, in the bottom uh, in the descriptions for this plug if you're interested uh, also if you follow that link you'll be able to find plugs like this that don't have the option of the seven blade uh, you know thing uh, there's a whole bunch of different ways you can do it but Hopkins sure does make a nice assortment of stuff and this one is the one I felt with so I'm gonna need this my mount hardware wire ties self tapping screws which I have in my pocket and my impact driver and probably a screwdriver and some electrical tape so um, let's see how this baby goes I'm not going to be able to film this while I'm under there, I don't think. If I can, I will, but I'll be able to film the end result. Okay? See you in a little bit. All right, guys. As you can see, I uh, taped those wires together, uh, made a nice little package there, and I'm going to end up wire tie those to somewheres under the RV. This is going to be the only uh, set that I use here. The white is going to be the ground. And these other uh, wires here are going to plug into the harness that I already put in there. And I'm going to use 
a little bit of dielectric grease. I forgot all about that to tell you about that. So um, this ought to work really well. Yeah, and I know that the one underneath is wired correctly because it had the self-test diodes built into the harness on that other part that I bought. So we're good to go. See you in a little bit. Hi guys and welcome to Rufus and Doofus. Chico here. And uh, today is the uh, day that we finished this project with this uh, towing adapter, okay? I finally got the uh, seven blade adapter on the RV connected to that flat one that I showed you in the previous video okay so that made the hookup um, very very easy so let me show you how it looks right now and where I've mounted it I mounted it right here it's very nicely accessible and I mounted it right to the uh, tow bar frame as you can see opens up and we've got our seven blade connector there and right next to it We've got our four flat, okay? So we have the option of pulling either or. Now, what I did not do is I did not hook up um, anything to the other blades on the, on the round connector, but I did take and hide the wires. I taped them all up. I know which ones are which, and if I want to, I can have a 12 volt power supply going to the Jeep if I should so want to, and I also can have brakes uh, on an electric or on a trailer if I have electric brakes I can actuate they, those through another blade those wires are existing um, the only thing I would need is a brake controller which is not on the RV right now but if I ever did want to tow something with electric brakes I could install the brake controller wire this up properly and have the option of towing it so that's why I want I went with this type of uh, connector even though I'm only using the four wires for the right turn, left turn, brake lights, and running lights. Okay? So, pretty nice install. Let me get under there and I'll show you how I did it. No big deal. Um, just a matter of avoiding snakes and running the wires to the right places. So let me, let me get under there one final time for today to show you. Okay? Okay, there's the uh, adapter mounted, all right, and obviously the wire's coming out the back, all right, but it's not wire tied, it's actually mounted with screws, and then here's the plug that was hanging before with the diode indicators, okay, so if I wanted to make a quick check to see if everything was working properly, I could do it here, okay. And also I've got myself a new ground right here so that should be no problem and that's with a self tapping screw and then everything tied uh, properly up here where it's out of the way so if for some reason this hitch should bottom out somewhere the uh, plug is protected up here I don't think anything could get to that I think it looks a lot better than it did before don't you guys huh got rid of all those hanging wires I mean you can see over there that everything is pretty nice and neat right did the best I could even with snakes tickling me down here lordy what can I tell you it's no fun but I hope I'm done down here for a while uh, I can't really think of anything else that's going to require my presence in the in the, the, the bottom of the rig here so uh, I'm going to go home, get cleaned up, and call it a day for today. Uh, actually, I wish it was the end of the day and I could relax, but I've got to take Rufus to the vet. Um, all of a sudden, this past weekend, he's just after we were playing. I don't know if you noticed when we were playing, Rufus and I, his belly looked a little different. Well, for some reason, he started with this allergy crap again, but it's nowhere as near as bad as it was. But guess what? I want to nip it in the bud. You know, because he was so happy and not scratching. I mean, he was just a whole different dog. So I don't want to go back to that problem that we had before. So wish me luck, guys. I'm, I'm really hoping that this turns out okay with the vet. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the video. Give me a thumbs up if you did. And don't forget to subscribe, okay? Take care. Bye-bye.